Well, g'day guys, welcome back to yet another episode. Today I'm down here at the West Lakes Inlet. As you can see behind me, the sun is just starting to rise and it looks absolutely prime. I'm gonna start off by targeting Mulloway. See how we go on that? I've just got tied on there, that little squidgy flick bait, and that's with the 1.6 jig head. So I'm only flicking that on my light outfit, so I must say, if I do hook something, I'm probably in a bit of strife, but hey, that's all the fun. But anyway, I'm gonna start flicking. If I don't get anything there, I'll probably switch back over to a little Z-Man two and a half inch grub. See how we go there with a couple brim. But anyway, it's just so nice being out here. I must say, I've got a bit of a free this morning, um, so I've got a little bit more time to fish between school and work and that sort of thing. But anyway, let's get out there. And fingers crossed, we get onto a couple fish. Alrighty, I'll pop a little cast just out there. Perfect. Well, I just had a little couple taps. I reckon they are just smaller sort of salmon trout. But hey, it's a start, I guess. On that sort of slow retrieve with a couple of hops, just went ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> I missed him, but that's all right. Where there's one, I hope that there's more. <laughs> That's another cast. Just about there. Alrighty, well I've just switched over to a little Z-Man two and a half inch grubs, something like that. And that's in the midnight oil. So what I've done, I've just gone and smeared a bit of um, scent on there. That's a bit of Procure bloody tuna. And I'm hoping that that should stop the short biting. So we'll get that out there and see how we go. Got him. Yes. That was sick. I wasn't even watching and I just saw my slack line just go taut. What is it? It could be a brim actually. Fighting very flatty, yeah. <laughs> there we are, a little flatty. It wouldn't be a West Lakes inlet fishing mission. Oh, look at that. Little bait fish. Oh, there's salmon right there. Oh my God. I'm gonna get this little flatty off and we're gonna, oh, there's salmon right there. Well, there he is. He's absolutely engulfed that plastic. Jeez. Got it. Straight out, pop him back. Now I'll try and get one of those salmon. He chased it all the way up to the stead. It's like he followed that flatty in. That was crazy. What? <laughs> I just saw all these bait fish just sort of scatter right at my feet and I'm thinking, oh, that's okay. There must be something behind there. And then, yep, sure enough, salmon, boof. Only little, little trouties. I haven't seen any sort of sizable fish around 40s, 45s come through. Mainly just your smaller sort of salmon trout, just legal and between legal and 30 centimetres. But hey, it's still good fun, man. Well, it's taken me a while, but <laughs> I've finally hooked up to something. And what is he? I think he's a brim. Is he? Yeah. Nice. That's not a bad one, actually. Not a bad little brim. On the flats here, it, I must admit, it always produces, I must say. I end, oh, it's not too big of a fish. <laughs> a little start, though. Well, as you can see there, that little fish has smashed that little Z-Man two and a half inch grubs, corner of the jaw. I actually opted for a 1 16th jig head. Um, I've moved to a headlocks instead of a hidden weight, um, mainly because I wanted to get a little bit more casting distance. And there we are. I'll get the hooks out of him, we'll get a quick release. Alrighty, quickly pop that hook out. Should just slide straight out, and there we are. And we'll get this little fella back. Go on, little buddy. A little bit shallow, so it's a little bit oh, other, way, other way. I may even just pop him out there. Oh, and there he goes. Back to his mates. Let's get it back out and see if we can get another one. Oh, dropped him. Come on. Come as a brimbo. Oh, have I got him? Oh, no, dropped him. Damn it. And yet, sure enough, suss out that plastic. Rip straight off the jig head. Just gonna push that back on. I'm actually going to apply a bit more scent and I reckon today, because it is so shut down, because it's quite cold, overcast, that sort of thing, um, I reckon they're going to be quite hard to tempt. So I've got this Procure Bloody Tuna, a um, bit of scent here and all I'm going to do is just slowly apply that around that little plastic there, a bit on the tail and what I'm hoping that's going to do is sort of stop those short biting fish because if they're going to get a taste of what the plastic actually is essentially, um, hopefully this should come back for it. Hopefully. But hey, we'll see. We'll give it a shot and see how we go. Well, that was a hit. Is he gonna come back for it? He was so keen on that. Holy shit. Yep. Oh, far out. Hit it. Yep. Ah, oh, have I got him? No. Damn it. 
Look how many times he hit it, like four times. Yep, no surprises. They're just, oh, they're not committing today. I'd have to say that is the most frustrating thing when you're sort of getting bites, but you just can't hook any fish. I'm gonna send it back out there. We'll see how we go, eh? That's all we can do at the moment. It's pretty, pretty slow going, I must say, but it's all right, it happens. So he's keen and he's back in that same spot. Oh yeah, got him, yes! <laughs> Hell yeah, what did I say? Second cast back in there, and I knew there was a fish there, and he was keen as well. It's look, not at all. Oh, oh, actually, oh, ooh, <laughs> actually, not a bad fish. He's got a little bit of go on him. I reckon he could be legal. Yeah, uh, he might. God, he looks nice in the water though. Ah, oh, took us long enough. The flats are slowly producing. I wouldn't say he's legal, but. Still, not a bad little fish. Well, there she is, the second little bim today. Probably about the same size as the other one. I'm really struggling to find some nice fish today. So I'll get the hook out, straight out. I love these little jig heads, they just pop straight out. And I'll just slowly, oh, <laughs> and there he goes. Oh, come on, buddy, go on, you can do it. Oh no, it's going the other way. Do a Yui, go on. Go on, buddy, that's it, that's it. Kick, 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 you got it, you got it. Oh, come on, buddy. Almost there, almost there. And there he goes. Oh my God, guys, I just had the craziest brim take. This fish here, I was just working the double clutch on the steps, and this fish here is probably like 30, 36, 38 maybe, and he just whacked it right at the steps. You're kidding me. Oh, that's a good brim. That is a really good brim. Look at him. I literally, that was a whole visual, and I set the hook on him. He, he literally took it right there. I couldn't believe it. Big boy leaps on him. I'm gonna go a little bit light on the drag. Look at that for a fish. Oh, that is wicked. Hell yes. All right, well, he's got heaps of go in him. He's got heaps of go. <laughs> oh, look how he's hooked as well. Well, there we are, guys. What a beautiful little bronze fish, hey? I reckon he's probably 37, I reckon, 37, 38. Absolutely whacked that double clutch right at my feet. But man, how can you complain about that? I reckon this is why we put that many casts in to get takes like that. So that one there is definitely worth the effort. But anyway, I'm gonna get the hooks out and pop him back, because he deserves to live. Well, here's that brim there. I'll just pop him back. Come on, little buddy. And there he goes, straight away. Wow, what a fish, hey? What a fish. Well, as soon as I turned off the camera, <laughs> I hooked up to a nice fish on the double clutch. I was sort of just slow rolling along the bottom and he just whacked it. Not a bar, oh, probably like one of, probably one of the smallest, to be honest with you, for the day, but it's all good. Well, there he is there, guys. Just a small little tucker on that double clutch. I reckon we'll get the hooks out of him and we get him back. All right, I just pop the hooks out of this little tucker here. I'll just slowly, don't splash the camera, buddy. Come on. And there he goes. That was wicked fun. I had two other fish previously to that one there, follow all the way up. So we'll see if I can try and get another one for you. Well, I've just hooked up to something. I don't know what it is. I reckon it could even be a flounder. Or possibly a bigger type brim. I'm not too sure, actually. What is he? Oh, flatty. Little flatty. Lift him up. That's a good one. Well, there we have it, a little flatty. He's probably definitely legal, I dare say, something like that. But he absolutely whacked that little Z-Man two and a half inch grubs. I thought I'd just change over, I'm um, considering the wind has picked up quite a bit as well. And it produced a little flatty. We'll get him back. All right, there's this little flatty there. I'll just pop him back. And there he goes. All right, so I've been flicking for around half an hour now after that little flatter that I got earlier on before. And I've had a couple of hits. I've seen heaps of little bait fish in the water, that sort of thing, but I haven't been able to convert one into a fish, unfortunately. Uh, in saying that, uh, I think my bus is due soon. So I may even just pop a couple more casts in and maybe entice another one, but I might leave the video here. 
Well, guys, I just want to say a big, big thank you for watching this week's episode. I really... Oh, hang on. Where does he want to go? <laughs> I really apologise that I can't get as many videos out as possible. I'd love to be uploading um, twice a week, that sort of thing, even once a week. But especially with this COVID-19 in place at the moment, with restrictions, that sort of thing, and um, juggling schoolwork as well in amongst work, it is quite a bit to juggle around. So it does make it a little bit harder to get out there and actually film. In saying that, I will have a couple... Well, where's he going? <laughs> the cat's running all over the place. Well, I may as well introduce this little furry feline. He is rusty, yeah. <laughs> He's my little, little boy. I love him. But anyway, in saying that, I will have a bit of free time in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully, I should be getting amongst a bit of salmon down south. And we should have a bit of content on the way with that. But in the meantime, I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's episode. Please stay tuned for some more awesome footage coming up. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon in the next one. Stay tuned. Look at him. Hello, buddy. Rusty. <laughs>